What's interesting about Toucan Sam is that, you know, the guy didn't get paid a lot. He came he came up in a time when serial mascots, I'm not sure if they were it, it had it unionized yet, but look, Tony the Tiger was king of the hill. And wait, he, I thought that was uh, Mike Judge. Yeah. No. By the way, I auditioned for the new Tony the Tiger, and I was baked out of my mind. And I got uh, it. You know, God, I wish. Frosted Flakes was my favorite cereal growing up. And I auditioned for the Tony the Doom Tell and Tiger and I was baked in Seattle and I forgot to do it. And I was like, it was due by 9 a.m. and it was 11. And I go, Mom, I got to lay this audition down. And she goes, but you're high as balls. And I go, don't judge me, bitch. They are great. And I, I sent all of that. I sent the conversation with my mom and the don't, don't judge me, bitch. She goes, you mean don't Mike judge me, bitch. I go, good callback. Scoot, do. <laughs> I'm getting good at this. <laughs> I'm just laughing at something I did over here. <laughs> Adam, you can't, the sounds of that, just you got to just eat it and make it happen. ASMR. Uh, AMR. Adam Michael Ray. We'll be right back. We'll keep it right here. Feeling good today. Because um, I'm back on my favorite podcast. Uh, so um, I'm pretty excited about today because uh, I have a sponsor that was specifically for this episode. Great. Do you want to do the pre-roll live time with me? You got some paper right down there for you. Great. So, uh, uh, you see it? The weed's kicking in. 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 The weed. This episode is sponsored. Oh, so, so, oh, am I peeking? Not oh, so let me good. show it to you. I want to show it to you. Did you bring weed? Yeah, I got a, a joint. Seriously? Yeah. I told you, the whole thing is we're smoking out of this pipe. That was the reason I said I need you to bring weed. Oh. Do you really not have what you're going to have to open it up? That's not going to be enough. Oh, fuck. Are you kidding? No. I told you about this so many times. I, <laughs> I told you this so many times. I thought you meant weed like... Bring no, I, I said I said this, this episode is sponsored by Freeze Pipe. I'll order some real quick. With 420 sales going on, this Freeze Pipe's <laughs> biggest sale of the year. Visit thefreezepipe.com to check out these killer deals or and use code Tyso for 10%. That's thefreezepipe.com and use code Tyso for 10% off. This thing is fucking awesome, by the way. This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Listeners get 10% off their first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash Tyso. That's B E T T E R H E L P dot com slash T Y S O. Oh my God. Could you open the. the yeah, I'll open the joint. Yeah, but how much is in there? It's one joint. Is all you have is one joint? Yeah. I can order some. Yeah, you might. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll order right now. I'm just going to have Brent pick some up. Great. Oh, fuck me and the goat ass. Well, Remember good. when Sandler used to say that? That's my favorite. We'll be fine. We'll be free. We'll be the. Yo. Yo. Oh great, we. Uh, I forgot to bring. I forgot you're in the alley. That's what she said. I forgot. We'll cut that out. I'll. Uh, I'll. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll. I'll see you in a second. I'm on my way out. Yeah. We. No. We. Uh, I forgot weed. I brought a joint, but Rick wanted me to bring actual weed. Um, oh really? Yeah. To. What do you want to do? You want to go to well, we, he was. He was gonna say, "Can Brent pick some up real quick?" And I go, "He's probably close." I was like, "We could order." Oh, this is so boring. No, this is great. It's gonna be great. Where do you gotta be? Ghostbusters. <laughs> we'll be right back after a trip somewhere. Keep your bag just on the ground here. He looks excited. Right, 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 right. I can't. No, no, you can't put your hands in my eyes. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that anymore. John Michael Market, floor ice. That's a nice sweater. Thank you. You dropped some ice cubes. 
Yeah. Are I they am. indoor ice cubes? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> John Michael Market Floor Ice. John Michael Market Floor Ice. That's my name too. Remember that song? John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. That's my name too. Whenever we go out, the people always shout, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da 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 I love John Jacob. His, actually, you know that John that, that was my name originally. John Jacob. Jingleheimer Schmidt. Yeah, his name is my name too. Actually. Uh -oh. Well, whenever, whenever I go out, uh -oh. what are what, people yelling or something? Not they sure. shout. What? John, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Da 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 da. da. John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever we go out, what the people always shout, shout, John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Theme music. Oh yeah. I almost pee. Oh. Could you not get your pee out? Or my dick up. Oh. Oh, 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 no. That sucks. Personal, What's going on? Personal I feel like things. I'm in a eugenics commercial. Wait, eugenics or nugenics? What the fuck is nugenics? Well, are you talking about Frank the old Thomas. one or the, or the one that just came Frank out? Frank <laughs> That's his reference. Yeah. No, you haven't seen the Frank Thomas? Uh, no, I have. I know yeah. what you're talking But I thought that was for, like, uh, copper something. No, he's, no, he's working for, out in the weight room, and there's two for, girls from the 70s. And they go, oh, my God, look at your fucking arms. And he goes, I'm 78. Oh. And they go, and they what go, the fuck are you doing to your body? How does it look so good? Yeah, and he goes. No, that was a porno we watched. Yeah. What was it called? Frank Thomas. No, no, no. <laughs> then, then for when the girls do, they really do. Yeah. They look like, holy shit! Look at your fucking black body. Yeah, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is a lot. And they, and then he goes, uh, yeah, it's great. I got, I'm taking Nugenics. And then they go, guy, what the fuck is that? And then some guy comes out. He goes, it helps your testosterone, ladies. And then Frank Thomas looks at the girls and then into the camera and goes, and she'll like it too. Ooh. So it's not just for men to get their mojo back. It's also to be able to yeah. start, you know, pumping away. Yeah. Pumping away. Well, um, so, so like, <laughs> like I was saying, um, uh, uh, before we went to the weed store, Brent, you don't know this, but this episode is sponsored by Freeze Pipe, mm. and uh, it's a. Do you want to see it? Yeah, yes. I, I haven't used it. Now Freeze I don't pipe. smoke. I just only do edibles. I already had one. I'm gonna have a little bit more. I'm actually trying something new. Who they started sponsoring my podcast? Wait, you already had one? Yeah. Oh, it's called Diet Smoke, and That's I why like you were them. So anxious. Diet Smoke. I'm not good on edibles. Yeah, this one. It's um, um. It's just like, it, it, it's Delta HTHC. I've never heard of that. Yeah, Delta 8. I've, yeah, I've been fucking with some of those for a little bit. And it's not, it's like a milder high. Yeah. Oh, really? But I'm just kind of like eating a lot of them now, I guess. That's but, cool. But yeah, that was good. I took one last night before so doing what's the a, comedy what is it store, called? and it was the, amazing. The thing that's sponsoring this? Frozen. Yeah, freeze pipe. Check this out. Welcome. Okay, so. Uh, wow. Yeah, you started. The time of the season mm. is when we're feeling the most isolated, isolated, stuck inside, stuck Where's inside. where I, am I going to make my next rent check? The, you are stressed. You, did the guy that you like comment on your Facebook wall mm -hmm. after the date went pretty well? Mm. No, but 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 life is about adjusting and adjusting. and finding out what works for you. And I think we found, I think we found what works. We're doing a QVC. Get out of my shot. We're doing a QVC right now. Get out of Garrett, get the fuck out of my shot. I think we found what works We're for us. We're live right now. We just want to apologize. Garrett it's knew not fine. to get involved. So, it's oh, fine. Boy. Anyway. Well, I had some Fruit Loops and Pinot Grigio for breakfast. And on top of that, what else did we have here, Adam? We've Why don't got, you show the people what got, this is? Number oh below. Well, look, smoking weed is one of my favorite pastimes. Mm. Who, who doesn't love it? And pretending I know sign language in bars. Mm-hmm. Happy, happy, hello. Can I, can I show you this? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, anyway, right. if you want a, a fucking penis pump, <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> Jesus careful, Christ. Careful, careful. What is this, a meth lab in a box? I know. It's Look at this. this. Look at this shit. This. Whoa. Oh, Audience? so this is the fully. So Ooh, that was the beginning of it. the food demonstration, and here's the fully cooked uh, goose. Yeah. Um, so you put some weed yeah. in here, yeah. and you lighter. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't smoked out of a pipe since I was your There's age. no carb, I think so, yeah. A pipe? So I mean, would you grow weed. up in fucking Lord of the Rings? I mean, look at this thing. Do you got a lighter? Yeah. Which this, is a compliment. 
This looks like it to was these spots. This looks like it was used to start the spaceship in Flight of the Navigator. If you haven't seen that movie, <laughs> what is Flight of the Navigator? Oh, it's an amazing Disney film starring starring. And he uh, and he he, he gets in a ship and Sarah Jessica Parker's in it and, and there's like a weird, he basically goes to the uh, to the future and meets his family and one like, second one second. You're giving me shit about hands and you're touching your fridge door and you're using your hands for us to smoke. You're trying to give us Omicron? Wash my hands. Oh. Prove it. Oh, you're right. So now I have Prove suds it. in my weed. No, I washed my hands. I didn't put soap in my hands. I, I washed my away. hands? I could have got my ice. I heard how long you wash your hands. Fucking bullshit. Man. You did? Yeah. Oh. I'm listening. Yeah, it was a, it was a light wash. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't call it a wash. I'd call it a wet. You wet your hands. I wet them up. But... I still have this, well, <laughs> yeah. not on this hand, but the other one I think has it. Has what? So. Okay. You ever not wash your hands and get caught? Yeah. Where you turn the water on and you don't do it? Hilarious. Everyone's done it. I did it at the Oscars. Right oh. I, there was an over-under. How long are we? Brenda had an over-under that you were talking about going to the Oscars within the first 20 minutes. To be honest, I really hey, don't man, want to talk about it. Hey, man, I got invited it. twice. Did you? Yeah, after wow. I shot a little film called Fuck. But you couldn't think of one. You, uh, you here, could here, say here, Coda here, here. or Coba. Coda. <laughs> Coda. What do you think of Children of Light? I didn't see anything <laughs> this year. The Coba. one movie I liked was ruined by <laughs> our hero. <laughs> who would Will. make who would make who would make a movie called Coba? I don't know. Light adults. Coba? Are you kidding? It no, could be Co- about a, a, a Pixar movie about a happy snake or some shit. You know? I'd watch that. Well, Who's I, the voice of the snake? I'm not grinding this well at all. Who's the voice of the snake? Um, Laura Ke- Dern. Kevin Hart, Laura Dern, or Meryl no, Streep? No, definitely would be Laura Dern. The, of the oh, snake? God. None of us could do an impression of Laura Dern. That I got you. Ready? Way to throw us a curveball. I fucking got you. Worst audience member in an improv show. I got you. Laura Dern. Ready? Here's Laura Dern on the set of Jurassic Park. Okay. Finding out that archaeologist is actually... Uh, <laughs> here's, you haven't even spoken. Here's yet. Sam Neill. Here's Sam Neill uh, practicing in his trailer the lines for um, the moment when they see Jurassic Park uh, coming out on the helicopter. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at that island, Jimmy. Jesus Christ! Edit all this out. Edit <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking thing out. All right. Hey guys, welcome to the Take Your Shoes Off podcast. No, this no, is no, not no. the very no, I beginning. Wanna, no, I want to try. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my! Oh my fucking god! Look at that island, Jimmy. Oh yeah, what an island! Hey, could you... look at that horse. That's a dinosaur, isn't it? It's a long neck. I horse. really just want to get this over. A dinosaur with. with bigger teeth. Could you not blow into the microphone? Who yeah. said that? Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> Candace. Candace. You heard what happened? Beret. Did you hear what happened with them? <laughs> That woman cut that her husband's dick off? Yeah, and threw it in the front lawn. Yeah. You heard about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's... we saw the made-for-TV movie. Yeah, about this. Apparently, Lorena Bobbitt uh, cut off John Bobbitt's penis and threw it in the front lawn. You see that IG, uh, that IG model that <laughs> well, stabbed the shit out of her boyfriend? <laughs> what? Here, right there. An IG girl. Think you're, think well, this happened two weeks ago. Oh. There's a photo of her. Oh. She's covered in blood. Oh. And then last uh, night or the night before, she was at a five-star hotel just hanging out and shit. And I'm thinking, how is she not arrested? She faked her death? No, she stabbed the shit out she of her faked boyfriend. her death. The IG model stabbed her and then was just hanging out? And then there's just a photo of her, um, like, a little, like, cuffed, and then she's covered in blood. Uh, how have they not caught and convicted her? There is a chance that it was self-defense. We don't know. Well. Ooh, we're cutting that. Because, why? Because I say. Uh, what? What did you say? I don't even know what you're saying. DM and her. No. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> wow. A lot of fun. Easy to rip. Goes down smooth. Really? Blew out the smoke like I was... Uh, Laura Dern? Yep. Laura Dern. <laughs> From the scene in Jurassic Park where she tells the young boy, hey, I'm going to get Samuel to talk to you more because I want him to love kids. <laughs> How funny would it be if Let this went try. on and then it just lit the hat? <laughs> yes, <right>? yes. <laughs> Just whoa, whoa, like whoa, whoa, whoa. that. Let me do it. Take now. a rip, fill it up, and then take that out. Oh wait, no, Adam. He, Adam, he always forgets unless you do the jingle. It's first you put the pipe, pipe in, and then you light it up, up and then you pull it out, and, and you thread it all again. around. You, you do, do the hokey pokey, pokey, pokey and, and you turn yourself around. around. That's what it's all about, Laura Dern. Yes, now I remember. Go ahead. <laughs> now go. 
Oh, I miss smoking. I miss the actual oh my smoking. God. Fun, this right? thing is actually awesome. Yeah, incredible. I mean, it's so cumbersome. That's the but best it's awesome. reaction. You well, we'll edit the cumbersome thing out. But the first <laughs> thing you said, I think, I think cumbersome is nice. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Brent, that reaction was amazing. You looked down at it, and you looked genuinely wow. Uh, yeah, overjoyed. because I'm not the like a, a big a, a uh, bong pipe guy. No, no. I, oh. I that's where I always got in trouble. So Adam was wrong. No, I, I actually, I, I don't know why I said no. Don't call me out on my rhetoric. And I'm I, I really didn't nothing know. Nothing but big words. Wow. JJ rhetoric. Big fan of this. Big fan of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I want to tell you guys about uh, some... I want to tell you about some stuff. It's been going on since we saw you last. Um, <laughs> want to keep this? That, my mom does that. My mom... Doesn't throw anything at all. Brent, Brent passed away, it looked like. Push in. Show what Brent just looked. Hey, just show, show to Brent real quick. Oh, actually, yeah. can I play this game with you guys? Wait, but, but, no, but, no, no, but, no, no, but we no, have no, to no. just get this. Hey, hey. But I want your setup on camera. Yeah, but this will be better. Because then we'll trust all Trust him. No, 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 I'm not. Oh. I, 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 no, no, you, I'm pointing to you. You, uh, uh, Rick, bro, trust you. Adam. <laughs> But but all this stuff I, I want to be side. I want to be in. I know I know I know. I but know now we do. can't have it. But now we're not. We, no, no, we no, have no. to this pick one work. or the this, other. No, this will work better because this will involve all of us. All of us. It'll be a game. I know. I want, and I know why you would be. No 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me okay. out. Hear me out. Okay. Captain. Okay. Yeah. This will be really funny. Great. I want everybody to do their best impression of passing away, and you'll get your <laughs> but, shot. But we can't yet. This would have established the game for us to do that That's later. That's not true because you established the game by bringing it up. Brett man. They have to see it first. <laughs> no, no, because we already set it up by that, and then I but set it up. But now we're just the setting game. it up, uh, setting up something. We're heightening something before doing the first thing. Do you think Lauren Michaels does this? <laughs> oh my God! Yes, <laughs> you're trying to heighten something before establishing the game. Oh my God! Is that why you got Tanner? <laughs> no, 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 no. The game Keep it is, in. No, no, no. The game is set up. You, no, you just want an ugly shot of me for that thing which would yeah. work in the edit i get what you're saying but we could all play together we and it could would all play together man come on and it would right <laughs> right it's, he's what? actually really good at this oh, okay well so look yeah it's your podcast we get that it's cool whatever oh is someone on the balcony oh, hey. holy right shit Oh, that's why. Wow. There he is. <laughs> wow. Legitimately <laughs> surprised. <laughs> Legitimately surprised. Well, I miss Call George. Me if you need me. <laughs> Call me. Call on your Holy brother. shit. You're killing it even harder. I honestly thought that was a recording, man. <laughs> yeah, me too. I, gotta, I, I didn't know whether to stand up and applaud or fucking... George, I haven't seen you for so long. Wow. Good to see you, buddy. <laughs> Holy shit, George. Adam, how you doing, man? Great, man. <laughs> But um, what were you saying? <laughs> oh fuck, man! No, no, no! We're all gonna play this game, Rick. I'll yeah. do uh, for you for the edit. For you for you for the edit. It's too Rick, late, John. We, we didn't do it. Are well, you kidding? Get, you edit you this? Kid, you edit this. Uh, we gotta man. keep it. I can't edit all this out. That's what well, I'm saying. Not with that attitude, I, I can't hide everything from my audience. My but audience, I'm too honest to my audience. But this, okay. So but let's play my game for a second. Play his game. Everybody, pass away. Yes. Okay. Die. And and you'll get that. Ooh, you get it. I'll do your shot I'll first. Do your then we shot. play the game. You guys could play. No, Fuck no, no, off, Rick. I'm just, I'm just gonna do some work. I'm getting your Rick. I have your back. Being a fucking Rick, bitch, man. Rick, watch this. God damn it, Rick. Yes, please. Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I got to post this. <laughs> Where? <laughs> You're literally. <Sorry. laughs> come on, man. One second. Here we go. I'll, I'll do your what you wanted. Well, it's too late. <sighs> okay. Well, then let's play the game now. <sighs> to be honest with you, in my defense, and I love glasses for these points, you broke the mode there. You did it, man. Okay. It's on you. Yeah, you fucked up. Because we could have just yes and at each other there. You didn't want we to could have, yeah. But, but, nah, but you wanted man. the ugly shot of me, and which I was willing to do, uh -huh. but I said, let's that. all do it together. Do that it was together. the point. That was but it. that wasn't the game. The, the game, the game was that, that Brent you looked this way on the podcast, not in the game. He really looked that way. Let's cut back to show it. No, and I, then we would show something that they didn't really see. That's a different game. No, I know what you're talking about. He That's what, I, what I, mean, I understand what you're saying. Understand it. Oh, my God. I never know if this is working. Yeah. It's not. It's, I know. <laughs> I understand what you mean. Mm, I, I gotcha. totally get it. get it. And they have it because I did a few shots of it and I got closer. So you have it for that edit. We didn't do it. We just kept it all in. 
All right, let's start again, man, if you need it that bad. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Here, hey, let me ask you go. a question Back about your dying. edibles real quick. Yeah. Uh, is the name of those called Principal? Because you're getting real judgy. I'm I'm not I'm an imperfect person and in the moment I prioritized the bit I wanted to get and I forgot that I was opposite a no talent hack puppet who needs hey, a funny I'm comedian right to here. put his hand inside. Thank you. That was for you. Yeah, I know, man. Yeah, we're Don't trash. We're like pieces that. of shit. No, hey, no, man, no. Quit being so hot on yourself, man. <laughs> you're you're good. You're you're good. Yeah. Are you doing? What I only call a racist black Felicity voice. Felicity Huffman? That's not black. Hey, 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 hey. That's a Simpsons. This is me being chill, man. Yeah, I go to the Pikey on Sunset. Yeah, I got a bike with a bike rack attached. Yeah, I can eat gummies before bed and not get too sleepy before I need to wink, wink, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I... <laughs> Maybe it's that that amazing thing that I just used. I was just looking here, and I'm I was thank in. you, thank you. Well, I'm speaking from here, so <laughs> can I try? Yeah, <laughs> can I try the puppet? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was leaving your body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, again, we've been mixed nuts. Uh, we're here every Tuesday at the Shaboing Boing Theater, and uh, this is a big thing. This is really cool. That's a real to have the hand. Yeah, eyes. the hand's a nice touch. Wow, you really have to be good at this. Nice, good start. <laughs> he is for the people audio only. He yeah. is using the puppet's hand to scratch the puppet's ear, mustache. It's and oh shame. fuck. My fucking ears. Always fucking weird. <laughs> What's your name? Fuck. Oh, whoa. That was a lot, man. He doesn't talk. <laughs> oh, shit. What's up with that guy? Am I wrong? Or we have to let the we have to have the audience want to finish this. Yeah. Yeah, right? You're right. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, right, at some right. point, I mean, yeah. we're having a great time over here. We are. I always a cool little puppet, though, right? Sorry, no, it's sorry. all right. It's hilarious. Remember when we did that 80s shit? Oh, no. Oh, shit. What do I do? Rick, diacting, diacting, diacting. Uh, uh. Uh. He's sucking my veins. Uh. Well, that's the ranch. Oh, that's why you wanted to do it? <laughs> Just for that line? That's what it was for? It's the that's why I had to go that. pick up a, a hat for you and not do the game I wanted to do oh, earlier? That was worth okay, it. Okay, let me tell you something. I, I, it's already ruined, but I was going to come in real Yellowstone, and I bailed for some reason because people got puppets and you're on fish Brent. edibles. Br that Adam, the, 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 the way you said to me... Uh, to Great fake delivery. die, <laughs> it made me feel like I like I wanted to be like, I know. Don't tell the audience what we're doing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Uh, it made me think of. I knew you. I knew you were. You knew what we were doing. But. I, I just did this uh, deadline contenders thing. Rick, what about for you? I mean, you come from stand up. You know, you have a fantastic podcast as well. I know. Take your shoes off, podcast. I appreciate that. Get the plug. Got to get the plug in. You never miss uh, a chance to do that. YouTube as well. YouTube, wherever you could find. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Take your shoes off podcast. Take your shoes off podcast. I know. We're going to come back to that, Rick. Don't but, worry. Oh like, what I was going to say is that we talked about this in another, um, and, and Jason pointed out in, like, another conversation that that safe workplace environment should extend to all sets and to yes. all workplace environments because... Yeah. Like, there's no reason for, like, the toxicity that you see. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Well, On uh, my soapbox. Rick. <laughs> and we need to pay fair wages. <laughs> All right. Ah. And man, it's time we shut up and listen. <laughs> And for different television shows, and I ran into Jeff Schaefer. You know, you know Jeff, right? Yeah, Lee, Curb, Curb. Yeah. yeah, Dave. 
Uh, Jeff Schaefer is one of the, I think, only four now executive producers of Curb. He's he directs a lot of them, writes them. An incredibly funny, uh, attentive, genuine dude. Uh, so this episode is sponsored by Jeff Schaefer. <laughs> Put the lower third. Well, the he first is brilliant. person sponsor. Never met him. But um, I saw him today. Uh, two things. One, the second thing I'm going to tell you is why I brought it up. The first thing is a cool thing I want to say. He told me that Larry David is a big fan of the show, of my, of the, as we see it. And then I asked Jason Cadence, our creator, um, and Jason said Larry called him. He's, and he, he, he plays poker. With, uh, actually, I don't think it matters. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. Well, that's but, cool, that really, They know each other, but they don't really talk. And he, he, got his, he had his number from something. And uh, Jason's like, he, saw, he sees uh, David, comma, Larry. I guess it's like a, the name still comes up and he, he keeps his name. I don't even give, I give my, I give my cousin my P.O. box for her wedding invitation. Larry's using his full name. Anyway, so that's cool. That's the first thing. Camel Larry, that's cool. And uh, the second one is he was talking about <clears throat> when they're on set and a lot of, there's a lot of improvisation, as you know, Adam was on, we'll put up a, yeah, that's awesome. an image of him on curb. Show the scene, it's only a minute long, but YouTube will you flag it. it. Thanks, bud. Yeah, you were great in it. You were an excellent Uber? Uber driver. I'll say this. I made Larry break three times in the audition. Oh, that's awesome. And I literally go, if I don't get this, the probably one of the few times I like truly was like, oh, man, awesome. I, I don't even, I don't even, like that was, because it's my favorite show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So I, I, I'm sitting there, sorry to cut you off. I want to get right back into this, but I have to tell us or I forget because I'm starting to get high. The weed's kicking in. And so I was in the front of a of a Uber and he's behind me. I'm hearing him talk. I felt like I was in an episode. It was like outer body. Yeah, and I know yeah. that sounds crazy, but again, it's like I watch it every night before I go to bed. It's like the fall sleep show, but but I don't. But I I've seen every episode like forty times, so I feel like I'm in an episode listening to him talk to me, and it was so crazy. And then I made, and then I somehow was, was could fucking stay in the scene, just be, just lock up, and then made him laugh to where he like hit me a few times, and then would just laugh oh, the, so the Larry cool. laugh, and I was yeah. like, oh my fucking god, dude. It's like it's, the Larry laugh and the Ricky Gervais laugh. If you can get that, if you're whoa, working with them, good call. You know, then it's. I totally, I haven't had that opportunity. You guys had, have had it. Uh, I haven't, but um, I'm sure you got a similar. I made that guy laugh, laugh. laugh. Well, you've yeah. made somebody laugh before, right? I think no, you're funny. Yeah, no, I, I have, but, uh, <laughs> but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is like when it, a hero. I don't think it's 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 the weirdest thing if like all of a sudden you're watching a show that's your favorite show and then all of a sudden you're on that favorite show. Bro, I always how many wondered times if, that happen? I always wondered that's how if that I felt was with an undateable. Out of, Watching you guys. Oh, stop it. I oh stop Funny. It. Stop it. Funny. I always thought that would be an out of body experience, but I was always curious to ask you that. Be because I, I, I can't I don't know I, if I would have been able I would do it, but I would be I I I, a I little weird. I, not shaking nerves, but just like anxious nerves. Yeah. And but then it was just like again, there's a there's a thing about knowing the show so well and the back and forth mm. that I go, all right, like because they go, Don't be funny. That's when they kept saying yeah. audition, don't like try just to make real. jokes, just be funny. But you still got to be funny. Yeah. So you're like, I still need to build the scene. And all I go in my head, I go back and forth, add info for him to grab and play with and whatever he sticks onto and ask the follow-up on, I'm going to, I know that's our game. You know that's what I'm saying? so cool. And so then it built and I go, if it can build to a fight, I've won. And we built to a fucking fight Yeah. to where he's like saying like, He's like, I'm like, you look like a guy. Like the whole thing is that I say he's a, 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 a one rating yeah, on Uber. One star. And so, and that's what all it says is you tell him he's a one at one point. And I go, you're one. He goes, I'm a five. I go, <laughs> I go, you don't, you're not acting like a five, man. I go, you came in here with this sucking and fucking energy. He goes, I'm not sucking and fucking. I'm not sucking and fucking. <laughs> Same as the audition. Yeah. I go, you, I don't know if you were going to do it, man, but you came in with a guy that was like, I do what I want. Uber's just like, hey, man, the world is my oyster type of guy. And you were going to suck something or fuck something. And he's like, I don't suck and fuck. And I go, you suck and fuck, man. Look at me. He goes, watch the road. I go, you suck and fuck. And we and he would start laughing. It was That's awesome. So great. And you auditioned with him too, didn't you? As the story for another time. No, so, it isn't because I, I actually want to because I never got the opportunity because if people don't know at home, Larry David actually is there for the auditions for yes. actors that are in there. Oh man, that and, guy just wants to be a part of everything. And shout out Allison Jones, by the way, because she's an unbelievable the casting director. The goat. She, she, love her. she really is. Rick, so you so so love Calamari's her. in the phone. I'm sorry. So, and and Jason is telling you I'm, I feel like this is building to a Larry call. So no, this was just him talking about uh, uh, w w Larry. They pitch jokes a lot and they improvise stuff, and a lot of times they'll pitch jokes to the other actors because Larry doesn't want to hear them. And Jeff said, but every now and then there's some low hanging fruit, and I'll yell out 
you know, this joke. And Larry goes, I know, I was going to do that joke. And that's what I'm saying. That's that's, oh, that's that, what I felt so about this was just you a, saying uh, the, the dying thing. It made me think of that. Okay, so you did a 5K to get to that point. You wanted to land the plane slow to get to there. Yeah, I wanted to just tell a story that mm -hmm. Larry David liked my show, and it reminded me of something that happened today. I thought it was cool that's in my amazing. life. So well, I wanted to tell my friends. Let me tell you joke structure. You open with that, and then you tell that Larry David liked Oh, I just show. wanted to connect with you guys, tell you a cool, cool thing. Now you see how it feels? Because that's what you did to me with the thing over there. The oh, room. I didn't realize. I don't remember. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings earlier. Well, Everything's that's... always hurt all the time. My I, whole body. I think you're really penis. cool. I think you're funny. I think you've made people laugh before. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you did all that for that, Tim. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. This is, Wait, we'll talk about a 5K. A this is hurting my head. Hey, we so got to do. We got to do the mid roll for the okay. the. Have um, you been on a ranch? Have you been smoking <laughs> wait, wait, wait. weed that doesn't feel good? Well, there's weed that doesn't have to burn, and it's cool and smooth, just like that PE teacher that always <laughs> gave a you a wink. Where are you reading from, Coldest Adam? The biggest hits hit you, and today's sponsor, they hit you hard. Right, Freeze right. Pipe <laughs> makes a unique line. You shut the fuck up. Of freezable pipes, bubblers, bongs, and more. What's the more, says Grandpa with the peg leg. Oh, boy. Well, oh my leg is hurting. Scientifically engineered to cool smoke by over 300 degrees. Mm, you can, it's cooler. <laughs> well, it'll get even cooler and smoother if you take a big hit and a big whiff without an intense cough and throat burn like ooh, a, ooh, I thought I would cough but you didn't because 420 sales are going on right now and nothing gets people fired up more than the 420 sales just like freeze, freeze pipes biggest sale of the year now I could go watch my kids t-ball 2022 is all about the dads watching t-ball visit thefreezepipe.com to check out these killer deals or use code to TISO for 10% that's the freezepipe.com and code TISO wait, wait. for 10% off you gotta read these ones <laughs> It's April, which means it's cannabis season and Christmas Ooh. is just around the corner, but Halloween's Bees up first. and it's a little warm. Don't dress up as your favorite Adam, guy you from gotta, the store this you year. You gotta read these. <laughs> you haven't read anything. But you've read two I lines. I thought that was a good ad. Oh, yeah, that, you're, you're, you're incredible at this. Just do it. Going on now through April 20th. That's post-Passover, PPOP. Get our your bicycles. Our insane deals and bicycles on pipes, bongs, dabs, rigs, dads, moms, whores, bitches, cunt <laughs> sluts, and more accessories. Shop 420 sales now at thefreezepipe.com. That's thefreezepipe.com. And if you see something, say something. And if you want something, say what something. That's not <laughs> <laughs> and if you see something you want that's not on sale, use code TISO for 10% off. That's thefreezepipe.com and use code TISO. T-Y-S-O for 10% or shop killer 420 sales going on right now. <laughs> say something, say something. <laughs> This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Adam, have you ever been to a therapist's office and you're waiting there and for the, the person who comes up before you? Do it again. For the love of God, do it again. Or you can continue it because of this podcast. But no, I'll, I'll, I mean, get your speech together. Go ahead. Do you ever go into a therapist's office and yes. you're in the waiting? Yes, when I was nine. My now, mom, when my you're in the waiting room, hold on. My, hold folks, on. my mom made us go to a, like a child Let family therapist. It's important. And I went to this guy's uh, room at yeah. this weird, it was in Ridgecrest, uh, Washington, Shoreline. And I oh walked boy. in, he had a little mini plastic hoop on the wall. Oh, shit. And I, I would shoot hoops every time for 30 minutes. And then, yeah. and then one time he grabbed the, he got an offensive grabbed. rebound. He grabbed the ball and I went for it. And he grabbed it, the little foam ball. And he goes, why don't we talk about what's going on? Wow. <laughs> and he goes, and I and I slowly sat down, and then he sat down, and he just kind of like held That's the ball. Lawrence he goes, every time right you there. come here, you just want to shoot hoops. You don't want to talk. And I go, yeah, it's a lot going on right now. He goes, well, that's why you're here. That's why your mother said you're here. And I was like, she didn't send me here. She asked if I want to go. I said, no, she dropped me off anyway. He goes, well, well. You asked the question. He goes, well, You asked the question. You just want to shoot hoops. I go, yeah, I want to be in the NBA. Yeah. And he's like, well, you're, a great rebounder. you're too fat. And I was like, I'm in the sixth grade. That's called a post body. Yeah. I go, and I'll shoot, shoot, shoot the three. I shoot the three. Every day I go outside, I shoot the three. I shoot free throws. I box up people who Okay, you there. shoot the three. I get it. You're a good <laughs> shooter, is, too. My point is, my dad's gone, but yeah. that my, my desire to get better help, help dot com slash Tyso made me want to be here tonight. Yeah. Have you ever gone into a therapist's office and you're in the waiting room and then out walks? You just asked him. He went into the therapist's office. Check. No, no, basketball. Just, you got, no, no. Didn't no, but you didn't hear. You didn't hear. <laughs> what I'm saying is, are you ever in the waiting room and then somebody comes out and that somebody was someone that you don't want to find out? You're 
going to therapy because you're, I don't know, a mob boss, Tony yeah. Soprano much, yeah. or whatever situation, not with BetterHelp. With BetterHelp, they could, they could match you with a licensed therapist in under 48 hours, and you get to do it from the comfort of your own home. Also, it's just easier. Oh, I'm going to wait in 90 minutes of traffic to talk to somebody for 60 minutes? That's the only part I care about. <clears throat> the other shit I don't give a fuck about. Like, I don't care if somebody BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy. Wait a minute. Try I don't and have see to see if online camera? therapy can help lower your stress. Yeah, if you want, you could close your camera. You could look at just her, you know or you could just FaceTime. listen. That's great. Really? Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. Wow. See, this podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and Tyso listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Tyso. That's, guys, the song. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash Tyso. Well, I'm dyslexic, so I couldn't do that. What a day. Yeah. I had something interesting happen oh, a great day, today. <laughs> what happened? So I have, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I haven't talked about this on the podcast, but I am single. Yeah. I'm a single man now. Mm. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but I follow that up with, how you doing? Yeah. Um, Amicable? Um, yeah. We're, we, still, we still talk. We're still friends. We day still love each other. We still miss each other. It's complicated. And I don't want to talk about it now, but I just wanted to <laughs> let sorry, pe people. But you just brought it up. Yeah, you brought it up, man. <laughs> um, what'd sorry. you bring it up for? Because I'm going to talk about uh, an okay. interest I have in another girl, and I wanted to establish. Oh, really? Well, already. Uh, it's complicated. I don't. So it's just a girl I saw today. <laughs> That's all it today? is. Today? Oh. Yeah. Literally saw. I went to uh, a restaurant with DeWalt. Yeah. Oh. I just haven't looked at it. I haven't thought. You haven't I haven't allowed been, yourself yeah. to yeah, I think outside I've, the bun. Yeah, when you're in, when you're in love, okay. <laughs> when you're in love and stuff, and then it ends. It takes a while for you to actually see. Yeah, somebody you see else somebody you go, you're like, ooh, let me, oh, let yes. me. Well, like, maybe I can, I can yes. have happiness yes. or something. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even mean it as dark as that. I really meant like yeah, it's the first I'm time I've been bad. attracted to somebody else, like in, in that way. Like I'm like, oh, first therapist. <laughs> <laughs> With the hat. <laughs> you're the therapist. Yeah. And when you go, well, that's our session. Yeah. So you're in an alley, you see some girl, and she's shooting up, and you think, okay, I'm thinking. No, no, no I was, just, I was yeah. at the restaurant with a friend of mine. I just oh. saw her. She, yeah, she was ordering and what nachos. Saying? What was she ordering? Nachos. Nachos. So she, you were with hey, a bigger girl, and she mine. was eating. And <laughs> what do you call nachos that aren't yours? Someone else's. Nacho nachos. <laughs> oh, boy. What do you call nacho cheese nachos that aren't... Wait. What do you call nachos that aren't yours? Not yours. No, no, nacho, nacho nachos. Not your nachos. Wait, that was a joke. <laughs> okay, go ahead. I'm single. I haven't been looking at girls. I haven't been thinking about girls. Mm -hmm. I go to the restaurant with DeWalt, and there's a woman. Uh, go on. And I just like was like the fuck is happening to my body type of thing you wow. know she was so beautiful we'll use that take yeah and what'd you recognize first hair eyes, her back lips. i only saw her back and her, she was wearing she was wearing a, a like brown vest like a bulletproof vest had the muscle. probably to protect her heart what if she was wearing a muscle shirt on the back i know you what if so she that, was wearing that, a that shirt where it does this in the back oh, yeah, like like yeah she had she looked she looked like she worked out but she wasn't necessarily a fitness what if she person. said you realize it's your you can be happy again what if she was wearing a shirt i'm all right if your hat therapist cowboy therapist what if she was wearing a shirt and on the back because you were looking at her back it just said hey pervert my my boobs are on the front <laughs> yeah i know i would freak <laughs> i do that's a funny shirt yeah I know, I like it. Yeah. It's a funny shirt. It is. And you can get more of those shirts at adamraycomedy.com. <laughs> Damn it, you can't. But hopefully by the time this comes out, I've figured out a way to make those shirts. Yep. Now continue your, continue story. your story. So what happened? Will you so snap you... again? It's a good shirt. I don't Macy's. know why, but I feel like you're at Hugo's. Ooh, great restaurant. No, it was, it was at the Commissary in Burbank. I've never been there. Oh, you haven't? No. Prove it. Oh, absolutely horrible. Oh, really? <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I, don't oh. I think I went with you once uh, uh, during an undateable well, Yeah, taping. actually, wait a minute. We've been there all the time. I've never been there. but uh, What are you talking about? We ate there all the time. On for undateable, undateable, you guys were right across the street. That was like the way Not the commissary got... at Warner Brothers. A restaurant called the commissary. There's, oh. oh, there's a restaurant. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. 
Oh, you just thought I meant I just went to lunch at Warner Brothers? Yes. yes. I, I mean, look at the way you're dressed. You're yes. like a fancy director now. You're like I said, you're like. As soon as you said a fancy director, now my screen went off. Well, somebody's not that fancy as a director anymore. I know. God, he looks good, though. It, it is a nice suit. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I fucking love that shirt. And I actually I'm a big like fan the of the color chains. scheme. Yeah. I told him he looks like Pitbull's chef. Pitbull's chef? I kind of think he looks a little bit like. Um, Laura Dern. No, no. I, like, I want to compliment, actually. Like, just sexy. I think he kind of look fucking... You remember, think this is his new look? I, uh, it Thank works, you. man. Yeah. Like, You wear clothes well. He, Thanks. You wear you clothes well, too. Both he's of you got guys. A good, he's Thanks. got a good uh, frame for uh, being dressed. Yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know? Well, where were you guys today at the commissary? <laughs> Waiting for a story about it and hoping it was the one at it's Warner the commissary, Brothers. the place that's like that coffee spot that's out in Burbank. It's yeah. like half coffee and then out yeah, and door seating. Yeah, a cafe too. Yeah, and the sandwiches and stuff. Oh, that yeah. sounds awesome. She's wearing, she's wearing, she's just wearing sweatpants. Oh, yeah. And her, and, Adorable. And she just looked great in the sweatpants and her mm. back looked strong. And then she turned around and I, I, I think you'll, I think maybe you'll understand this. I'm pretty sure you will. I don't know if they will. So it help me Keanu articulate Reeves. this. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at my back? She was <laughs> so beautiful, but other people probably didn't know. Oh, oh, I know what you're saying. Why are you looking at my back? Like they, I, they no, wouldn't no, no, have no. had to stare at her. Can, can I, yeah. can I yeah, try yeah. to express what I think you're Thank thinking? Because you. I dealt with this coming from San Francisco to Burbank oh. today. I saw <clears throat> multiple girls that were wearing nice. like I like flannels like this. Right. It, it was hidden right. where it's like, but it's so pretty yeah. when you could just be comfortable in public yeah. and you don't have to put on a show. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? I, that, I think what you're saying, I know what again. you're saying. I know you've always loved big sweaters when the thumbs are covered oh, a little bit. I know. I know. It just, it's so like that is a wife. And I think that's great, but that's not what I'm talking about. Okay. So uh, you were just dealing with a girl does parkour. Then what? No, no, do no, no, no. no. You, I'm saying she didn't have any features that were. <laughs> That were like shocking or outlandish or like big lips or oh. big breasts. She just was like, a little boyish. No, 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 no. Because I she, like some of the girls that look like boys. Yeah, had, I think those are great too. She had two a noses. lot of the times. But no, she was she's just beautiful. But like you, here's what it is: if you were to look at a picture of her, you'd be like, she's beautiful. But if you were going down here, it's basically like her face, her energy was very earth tones. Nothing really stood down out. To earth, down to earth, pretty. Like a. Uh, Alicia Silverstone. <clears throat> no, that's I. Uh, I it's actually really? that's actually. Well, I don't know why I got so. Great. That's actually she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. That's she's actually real spot on. Chill. She that's so pretty spot on. Low key. What, what, from what, what she are was you selling. Talking about. All right, Alicia so, Silverstone was like the her whole breakout was clueless. Yeah, she had the bullshit with the the swiping. She put outfits on. I'm just talking about the way I'm attracted to Alicia Silverstone. I would be like, oh yeah, I guess she's pretty. I would say more Rachel Lee Cook. She's all that. Great movie. That. It was you know? kiss me. Yeah, it's da, that. It's that da, kind da, of thing. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Kiss me under the moonlight. Oh, lift your open down. Fly love the Kiss me. Kiss me. Yeah, like that. Yeah. No. So basically, she like just looked like shitty art hair. She didn't look like she. She probably was not a model or an actress. You know how a lot of beautiful Ooh, people yeah. in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah. No, a lot of beautiful. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with any of this but usually beautiful people in los angeles can make a living from it and that's what they're they do so what i, I here's guys what I, too but girls are if i cannot be the doctor more so i understand what you're saying here what you're saying because we've been living here is it was a girl that wasn't presenting she was just she being, wasn't selling herself she was just being she was just there. Wow. She wasn't thinking deep, about what people are thinking about her. Yeah. And that turned you on. She and was going like this a lot. I wonder what people were thinking about. Well, because that's what well, a lot of those that. IG <laughs> models and actresses and all those people do is they feel like people care. They're looking. Listen, can, I can't. I can, they go can out sense. to be looked at. I, yeah, I have no problem with IG models or actresses. I think that they're people too. I'm not yeah, saying honestly. they're not fucking yeah, people. What the fuck, oh, well, I think you guys, women, you guys, this is women you, have a bad You are the fucking <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm never robbing a I'm bank with this fucking guy. This fucking guy. This piece of shit right here. First off, his goddamn voice. Have you seen Ambulance yet? Speaking of robbing a bank? That's out? I saw it the other night. You guys would flip your fucking lids. Why? Oh, it was that girl? Oh, she's, she, no, she's no. She's beautiful, but no. She's football players. 
Oh, no, I'm talking about the oh. movie. Oh. And I also think this it's Michael Bay, bad. but I feel like they found, there's some um, drone influencers. Have you guys seen them? They just, they have videos of the, like, they could go through like toilet paper rolls and they just, all these trick drone shots. They use so much drone footage, like choreographed for the action. John Michael, can you uh, make sure you, you harp on a slow-mo of his hand motions right there? <laughs> Hilarious. Thanks. John Michael, can you call my mom and see if she's awake? Because I need my laundry done. Okay. Why are you so tan? <laughs> I tan easy. I think even just being outside in the you? sun. That sounds like that could be an insult. You like Adam? He's all right. I mean, he tans easy, but you know, I don't, no, I'll because, hang out with him outside I, for a little bit. Was I? I uh, burn, but he's like, he's got good color. Like he's been on vacation. No, no, I, I tan easy goes away. Goes away is easy. Hi, hi. Yeah, sorry. Ah, mm. ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Dun 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 I went to uh, the commissary uh, and I saw the girl I'd marry. She had a strong back and butt, but I was scared to talk until I opened the door and I walked on it. I kicked it open with my sunglasses, grin on my chin. I thought, baby, put your shoulders back and show them your pride and never look into the innocence and never hide. Show her your life. Show her your light. Show her your gift. Show her your arm tattoos and your tits. Let her get around, put the packet in the down and you take her on the ground and you pat her on the bound and so anyway um, she's, she's, this <laughs> she's this beautiful. She's this beautiful girl. Right, we'll and, find her. And I'm with Dewalt, and you know Dewalt. What yeah, would you yeah. say Dewalt is? Beside, what do you say his number one best quality is? A husband. Oh. <laughs> That's right. That actually is true. Yeah. He, he's a great husband. Like, he's a great husband. He's madly in love, and she thinks Allison. Is, she he thinks Allison is the most beautiful I, thing in the does, world. Man, he yeah, also true. thinks that Allison's better than her. And everything. I gotta, I gotta say something, Allison. You're fucking hot, and you're an amazing writer. What are you doing with that nerd? To be honest, he's just he's aware. Burned. He's actually aware. Like it's no, true. But, but what I'm saying true is, compliment, what I'm J-Dub. saying is, yeah. I'm looking at this girl. I go, that girl is beautiful. Great husband and father. So, uh, so he's I'm looking, probably going. Uh, so. That's your wife or something, right? Yeah. He's doing- John, who's such a good husband, looks back and Maybe goes. Some of this mess. <laughs> Bro, John looks back and goes like this. One that Brent, in. you got to hear what John does. <laughs> what does he do? No, he just thinks she's beautiful. He's like, he's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> And we're both just, and I couldn't stop staring at her. Right? And mm-hmm. also, I'm also aware of, like, this is the first time I've looked at a girl in years that I wanted to, like, talk to. That's what we need to focus on here. That's a big deal for me. Yeah. And, big deal he, for anyone. And here's, here's the thing. <laughs> here's my mindset. I'm wearing this outfit that I had on today. I'm not wearing the suit or the shirt, but I got the white shirt on. I got the chains on, and I feel like I'm supposed to be wearing the chains. It's the first time I felt that way in a chain. Great. I really, really want to get there. Right it looks good. And I feel confident the way I look, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm sitting there. And John's like, talk to her, you know, say something. Yeah. Um, and I, instead of being what I almost always would have been, which is like, no, because that's terrifying. Yeah. I actually was figuring out what I'm going to say, and I was going to do it. Big time. And I knew what I was going to say. You grew. But John then said, good call, but also, I mean, great call. But John's like, I wonder if that laptop's hers, if she's with somebody. Because she was there by herself oh. for like eight minutes. And I was, I noticed that, but it's been a, a fair yeah. amount of time. Where's, and I go, yeah. And that made me a little nervous. And I wanted to wait and see. So I was going to wait to see if she ate alone. And then a guy sat down and John said that they look so much alike that they were probably brothers. And I'm like, it's a Sunday afternoon. If brother, brother and sister, sister together, brother then they're with their parents as well. 
John said that? I said that. Oh, you said Brothers that? and sisters don't go to a brunch alone on Sundays. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. Yeah. That is true. That's weird. Yeah, they don't, they do. do they? Yeah, and I learned this the hard way. <sighs> that is really true. Thank you. Wasn't that a good observation? That is a really... So, so were I'm the get, parents there? No. It, they were together. They, they were a couple. They were together, right? And I didn't say anything because... What I wanted, what I would have oh, loved. You to, thought they were brother, maybe the no, brother sister. No, John then, said maybe the brother sister. I'm like, there's no way. You should have walked by and been like, you're gonna be with this but loser. That, but, he tans easy. No, but <laughs> wait a minute. You, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, never mind. It's, he said the same thing. Yeah, that is awesome. Whatever that is, is I'm the happiest I've been in ten years. B, I love you. Well, first of all, this is a true trifecta of fun and friendship. Yeah. And what is that? Break that down for me. Acronym rise. True T O F O F. A true trifecta of fun and friendship. Let me actually, I, I, I actually shit. want to harp on this <clears throat> well, a little bit. I, I would love because, to finish. Oh, no, yeah, we get oh, it. Go ahead. But no, <laughs> no, go ahead because <laughs> I actually want to. I, I, Listen, we talk, we talk, I want to empathize. Let with me, your let situation. me just finish go one ahead. thing. We yeah. talked, we did wait, we did way too much shit on what she looked like. Here's what it was I walked in this place, beautiful girl <laughs> caught my <laughs> eye. He says that next hey. to a puppet with an open hey, mouth. Yeah, just <laughs> zoom in on that. We did way too much shtick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We did too much shtick. <laughs> You're in a fucking a cowboy a hat. You're dressed in a suit. <laughs> and, <laughs> like, and I'm hard. <laughs> and we're all just sitting here like, what's going hey, on? And puppet Rick is, much is ready for a cum shot. And we're talking about <laughs> Yeah, this guy. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah. fucking Charlie Rose, before yeah. he was canceled. What did somebody just tell him? The specials at Denny's? <laughs> Settle down, dude. This is kind of a a, a, a a vulnerable thing I'm talking to you guys about. No, that's it what really I wanted is. to relate to, so I was saying, let's finish it. I was about to go up to the girl, yes, and then somebody comes in and sits with her, and it made me go from I'm about to talk to her to what could I say if I say anything? And the best thing I got was to... Go up to her because the, the, the guy left again for a little bit. And I could have either gone up to him, almost like the way you go up to um, the father of, of, of the, the girl you're dating to ask permission. To go up to him first and say something like, I, I apologize, this is uncomfortable. If so, I just mean it as a compliment. The girl you're with is beautiful and I wanted to say something to her, but I saw wow. you were together. Is, is that something that is inappropriate? Um, or to go up to her and say... Um, do you want to ditch the go kart and ride with a stretch limo? That's from Fresh Prince at the bowling alley. Wow. Slap. It's unfortunate. Oh. I, 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 and you know, and, and, so and the timing was Fresh so Prince. weird because you know I was so releasing that episode. So I was releasing the Will Smith episode right after 150, and I let people know for months, and it happens on the Sunday before it comes so out. So disappointing. So you can't release it now. I don't think I'm, I, I can't. I want to post it. I just think it would be tacky to show it and just for like clickbait shit. But I, and also, I wanted to do a second one. I would still love to finish it with him. Yeah, and the, with the way you guys rehearse that, you should slap. get you should get Jada on the podcast and see if she'll talk uh, talk about uh, her kids, sex, baby. So can I, can I go me, ahead finish so, that? So, um, yeah. so, but I, I just. It's just the whole thing. It's I'm getting way ahead of myself. I just saw the first girl that I wanted to talk to. I'm just gonna. But then he's outside for a fair amount of time, and then she goes outside. So I know where the bathroom is. Right when John and I are leaving, so John and I walk out, and I say to John, "Oh, also, bef when we first sat down, we made eyes a little bit, mm. you know, and yeah. not that she necessarily was like I'm interested, but she but saw that I was looking at her, something. and she checked a couple of times, and we made eyes, and looking." The, the difference between when you're making eyes at somebody, Adam, I'm going to make eyes at you. Look at me, and then you, you're already looking at me, and I'm going to catch you looking at me. I'm a, girl, I'm a girl in the bar, and you're looking at me. Ready? And I want you to see how fast I turn away. It's like... Okay. It's a guy that just uh, that, me like now, the hold appropriate on. amount of time. Because you have a boyfriend, and he has a laptop. Oh, shut up. He's in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> How oh, long did you right. think that eye contact was? Was that long or short that or was about average? A second and a half. That was solid. That's significant enough for me to go. Right. Now, Christina, guy just looked at me. Mm. But, but, if did, but if you did it like this, ready, show me. I'll, if you did it this quick, I wouldn't think anything of it. Ready? You know, then we're dealing with light. Yeah. 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 Guys. <laughs> what? We're helping. So good with the mid scenes. But I want to I want to show you a about the guy. about a longer eye contact. So they say on audition, the, that, uh, <laughs> treatments they go be Brent Get this guy halfway down the page and he crushes it. <laughs> Emmy worthy shit. I think that eye contact was a perfect amount. I want to show you something else though. Yeah, I want to show you and you're looking at me already. Great. All right. Watch this extra half a beat that I'm giving. Already I already did enough. Watch this extra half a beat and even though you know me, tell me how it makes you feel. Don't look away though, okay? 
I've never been asked that before. Okay. How intimate does that feel? Wait a minute, though. Was that that's your look? Did you turn your head back? I'm like not. That? It wasn't the face I was making. It was the amount of eye contact being made. Oh, because that face. Just I don't said, know what yeah. face I even made. I was just. That, I was just so focused like, like that, that, that bitch owes me money. Cut to a clip. <laughs> <laughs> God. No, no, do it again. Do it again. I want to see your meet right, cute right, yeah. face. All right, go. Okay. Oh, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Do your meet cute face. That like. Oh, but, but it wasn't me cute. What it was was I was, because she's at the other end. So at first it was me like going like this. It was me. I'll do it to you. You're her. And she, okay. she, and she. I'm her. She, you, okay. you look, Lucky. she looked at me right after I looked at her. I was going like this. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, was you like, I, was, no. I was like. Oh. And then she saw me, and then she saw me, and then I just, instead of looking away right away, because that's, I, I'm already here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already falling. Yeah. I'm not going to, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, you so, green. So, so I yelled. I went, ah! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to everybody. Oh. 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 No, I was going like this, and then she saw me, and I went. Like this? And you retreated. Yeah. I guarantee he did, he, she did this. Do it again. We don't know. Okay. Okay. Is okay. this what she did? Okay. Watch. When you're looking like that. Ready? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> because I love you so much. <laughs> Yeah. Was it that? Yeah. No, no. She she looked. Yeah, that was spot. I looked, you're doing this. Yeah, if you're, if you're doing over this, a bench, whatever that fucking dinosaur in Jurassic Park that Laura ate Dern. the fat Newman. Yep. Whoever did that, <laughs> who Laura Dern with all the shit she was playing with couldn't figure out. You that's were like the doing way Wilson at Home Improvement looking over the fence. No, you know what it was? E.T. when E.T.'s neck goes up. Damn. Yeah. What did that you say? Shit? You I, had this. A, I had to look over somebody. Now let me do it. You're her. And then I'm you. And then I want to play her you and you do done. you. Ready? And I see the most beautiful woman. Okay. Go ahead. To be honest with you, would love that outfit. I yeah. really yeah. love. Uh, He's a bit. Yeah. Shut up, Brent. Here we go. Ready? Just say three, two, one. Say three, action. Uh, well, three. Action. And, <laughs> and. All of you guys, too many cooks. Action. All right. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Keep it going. Oh. Is that your boyfriend? Oh. Is that your brother? Oh. Yeah. In your own mouth. Oh. Squirter. Oh, what a square. <laughs> That's and my cappuccino. Cut. <laughs> and cut. Um, I think we're going to go one more time. Brent, uh, the line is, hey, yeah. have you been to this restaurant before? Okay. And Let's do it one more time. action. <sighs> Fucking knees feel like a <laughs> pussy in heat. <laughs> have you been to this restaurant before? Oh. Yeah, do that. Oh. Play her. Uh, Suck them. Oh, okay. Oh, high tits. No, no. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. Milk, milk in the mouth. Oh. Milk in the okay, mouth. and cut. Uh, what? Oh. Again, Brent, I think it's it's not oh. actually the line milk in the mouth. It's more of, I guess, Rick, what you're doing with your with your tits. You don't have tits in this scene. So this okay. is and I think milk in the mouth is probably again, this is it was squirt. It was pussy Disney squirt. Plus. It was I think the pussy we, squirt. We, it was the, pussy squirt, I thought was <laughs> again, Disney Plus. You know, Disney Plus. If John Malkovich was in this, maybe we could push these buttons. But we've got. No, he uh, was in this. I thought this was. We've got. We've got the girl who played Kimmy Gibbler on Full House okay. and Patricia Richardson from well, Home. She had Program. a problem. Well, she's got a problem in the show. It's called. It's called. Did Lisa you just Salema. sneeze? But I was laughing because I actually realized she did. Here if we I'm go. Getting it right. And oh no 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 that's. So I'm waiting. So so okay, John and so, I walk outside. Yeah. And I. Because we had no chin. Who did? Don't talk about people badly. I can. Yeah, Everybody talks bad out. to me online. She had no chin. I have a weak chin. That's why I got a beard. <laughs> <laughs> leave my, that in. I'm Only allowed. Leave that in. She was a weak chin fucking weirdo. <laughs> what is she that? came in odd. <laughs> she was good at her job. <laughs> she was good at her job. <laughs> I'm comfy, man. Oh, you got a yes uh, at that. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's too late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, giving, I, I, wanted to give I was going to down give, a list. Give me a stage. No, no, no. no, we're okay. It's That's okay. all right. To be honest, we're all not on the same page right now. And I, I hate that you took whatever's behind that, speaking of weak chins, Muppet right there. Because um, you should have had this. Yeah, you should have had a lot of this. This was. The this is awesome. Freeze pipe. I'm a big fan. I don't know how many times you're going to throw uh, goodie bags out to the viewers, but Freeze Pipe, I'm telling you, right now, freeze pi the FreezePipe.com. See, <laughs> you couldn't do that before, Freeze Pipe. So then I'm walking out, and she's in the bathroom, and I know that unless she's taking a huge dump, she'll mm -hmm. be out in a minute or so. Yeah. And 
I well, link- you don't know. What if she took ninety second dumps? Mm-hmm. With, I don't. I guess I, I wasn't sure, but I took the chance, and I waited. And you waited for her to get out of the bathroom to, just yeah. to see. And John yeah. was with me, um, and I, I just. I went from, I'm going to talk to her, to like, I just can't. And you make these decisions. So I just, all I allowed myself was, I'm going to see if we make eyes again. And if so, then, you know, I was just wait in the bushes. I don't know. I don't know what the next move is. But if she she made eyes again, I would maybe then have said, hi, and then hi. And be like, listen, by the way, you know, and then here it is. Yes, I get that. So I try to do that. And so John's waiting with me. And she walks out of the bathroom. And she walks right between John and me. And I'm just like, just like. You know, like if, if Chris Rock saw your set, you don't want to look at him first, but you want to see if he's looking at you. Right. You know, yeah, yeah. that oh, type yeah. of thing. So I'm yeah. doing like that. And she just walks right by and in and John goes, good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There was a punchline there. That's yeah, on that's me. Funny. I'm sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> it's uh, it's just, you know, it's a 45 second story. But uh, I did, dr- I was driving home and I was thinking, I want to talk to you guys about that because it was a moment that I had where I was really proud of my, the confidence of like. Jeez. Going up and talking instead of like, you know, we used to do all the time uh, back yeah, when we back were hip hop yeah. singers in the malls and we would yeah. dance for girls and sing to them. I remember that band. <laughs> Did you guys really? Yeah, yeah. We were called uh, Unstoppable. Uh-huh. I couldn't think of anything. I used to I used to go to uh, a Beachwood Place Mall and Randall Park Mall with me and th- two of my friends, the three of us, and we had choreographed dances and we would put a and we and were act like you were like entertainment. We were. We got to we got to do it on a stage at, at Randall Mall uh, for in high school be, between Thanksgiving and um, Christmas, where they keep the stage up and they have different acts yeah. on the weekends. Oh wow! So you did it like that's pretty. What cool. were some of the songs? Uh, no diggity. It was always oh. no diggity. Like oh, the way just, you work, kid. Yeah. No so diggity. You were just covering. Yeah, but it was really more about the dance. Yeah, like we had we had the music playing with the lyrics, but we also sang, so it was like all of us singing. Okay, ready? I'll give you the beat, and you give me the dance you did. That's not- yeah, it is. Don't make down good love, baby. Got me working all over town, baby. Don't don't stay around. This ain't the Dr. Dre version. Oh, oh, my fuck. This is the weirdest thing that you could do. Then. You grew up in a town that allowed some, some stupid shit just like this. This is the only reason that I actually was in a rest of this fucking. We were just doing for tips. We used to play mannequins at Abercrombie and stuff in the gap and like, all like, like no, no, like no. An like, arm? There'd be the mannequins song? during Christmas time at our, my local mall, and we would be like, and there'd be like a little tree like that size, and we would just be like this and do that until security kicked That's us out. That's fucking hilarious. Would you scare people? No. <clears throat> uh, nobody really enjoyed it. What was that? I was giving a high five to the mannequin. Oh, uh, okay. All right, get off me. Uh, actually, I'll be honest with you, and this is this is just true. The white people didn't enjoy it. They thought it was a crass. Black people loved it. The they mall. thought they just loved the bit. They oh, they understood oh, it. The, the uh, fake and that's mannequin just bit. A, yeah. They just the, the fact that they were like, "That's hilarious. These idiots are here doing I love, this." I fucking love that. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, my god. <laughs> Coming in hot. Yeah, man. I will say, Rick. Um, one of the hardest things when you're in love, and you and it ends, is. You don't look at anybody anymore, like for a, a while, right? Mm-hmm. And and you think, at least personally, I thought, well, I'm never ever going to be that infatuated with someone again or attracted wow. to somebody again, ever. <clears throat> like in everything <clears throat> around Everyone feels you. Feels that way, by the yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. That's my point. This is the empathy part I was trying to get to, and and then I had that same type of moment, and. Whew, and I was in uh, Arizona actually, and it was not, you know, how crushed I was mm-hmm. with my ex. And, mm-hmm. I, and I was thinking, there's no way I'm ever going to f- 
how the hell is this ever? Feel gonna, like that again? Yeah, like yeah. there's no way. And then, you saw without someone. knowing someone, I I I see someone, and it was like the first person where I went, oh no no no! It even out of this this torturous cauldron of heartbreak, something's gonna break through like a light, and I'm gonna be able to see it. Yes. And it was the first time I went. Oh, it's possible. And cool. I had the same thing where now, as opposed to us going to those nightclubs and dancing and getting the bus boys to do all the dances. Suck our dicks. And, and we, uh, well, we didn't care back then. So we were able, <laughs> yeah, we were getting our dicks sucked and we got fries. That was just, a great day. <laughs> <laughs> we used that one. Well, remember that time we were doing that? that anyway, and then those, the bus boys sucked our dicks? Yeah, and then we had that happen, you know, and I couldn't get hard because I was nervous. Cause the, you know. Yeah, it was your first time getting well, your dick sucked by a bus around, boy. And uh, no, 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 it wasn't that. It just felt too good, and I didn't know what to feel as a human. Anyway, um, comedians deflecting emotion. But I'm just trying to heighten Adam. <laughs> anyway, uh, 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 <laughs> the sweetest kid. Uh, in my mind, this is the greatest monologue uh, of all time. Oh my God. This is get oh, this. <laughs> this is it's, my it's, favorite thing. I don't even ever. know we're keeping know, it man. in. This is truly is. I mean, you're coming off a great weekend. We're coming off a great. Uh, you know, <laughs> that hurts so much. <laughs> Wait, B. So, so you see this girl? No. So it was like one of those moments where I'm like, I'm still crying every night, and I'm having all these these terrible emotional feelings. Turmoil. I didn't want to do anything. Is that how, I'm sorry. I know you're going to think this is, I just have to ask this before I forget. Is that, is that a Charles Barkley saying turmeric? Is that what you were just doing? Turmeric. Turmeric. Bernard, hey, turmeric. Turmeric. I talk about, no. That sounded immediately racist. So I'm not a guy who does voices. Okay. Tip your hat if you say that. Terrible. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never Whoops. Mind. This doesn't help either. But I just remember having like really sad moments. The yes. only savior was the stage where I could actually do a show and talk about it or blah, blah, blah. And that really helped, honestly. No, oh, it was Th everything. Therapeutic, yeah. Yeah. It's it's first that's love. what we do it for. So it's, <laughs> it's cathartic. Uh, but then it, it was this simple. It was like an, like an art fair. And this girl just goes, excuse me. And I went, oh, sorry. And and it was like five months after my breakup, I thought I'd never oh, find anyone again. That's so fresh. And she, she just looked like every, that slang? every movie, every movie. <laughs> Guys, fresh. I was having a moment here. Yeah. Now I understand no. actually Rick now, speaking of empathy, because we cut him off a lot. Yeah. Now it's my time. So when I was <laughs> six, um, no, but it was one of those moments where. Like, so not when you were six. You were that was just a joke. God damn it, Rick! This is we're, stop. Everybody, just Sh shut be up. On my side. Here we go. I'm, we're here. <laughs> B, we're right here. I hear you, Brian. I understand. I said five months. But I'll, it, fresh. It, it, I'll show up for you. Five months. I was five too months. scared That's to fresh. do any. I was too scared. I went. Oh, it's it's okay. You know. Yes. But it was like I felt like I uh, I had that nerve again. Yes. And here's what here's my philosophy. I don't think we ever we'll get back to that initial hormonal feeling like Can you're eugenics going, when you're going through no hear me out when you're going through puberty where like love crushes you and you don't even know what it is yet yes you know what i wow, mean wow wow like, you don't even I, know what, that's such I a think profound the, I think thing to the, say i think the greatest thing that we have as human <laughs> beings is dreams because dreams aren't reality they're hope so when you have hope it becomes something greater but when those dreams come true, which a lot of all of us have accomplished some dreams, you start realizing that reality doesn't shift to that dream that's in your mind because our imaginations are our best friends and they're our worst enemies. So I think that pure love hormonally is when you're younger and that's why it's so spastic and euphoria and all that shit or when, you know, girls like, I love them. Really, they just don't know what love is, but it, it takes time to get there. But that initial feeling in the heart, the yes. ears, yes. The, the sweating, all that, it's really hard to feel that again. So you either have to ask yourself as an adult. Do I want to feel that again? No, it's not want to. It's can I feel that again? And do I wait to feel that again? Or do I just figure out what works as a puzzle for something else? And that's the thing that's impossible to figure out when you actually are an adult and your brain is actually pure. So 
Lean, lean. Oh, you know what I learned to do? You're supposed to sing in the tone that you talk. Nope. Sing in the tone that you talk. I've been telling talk. you this for years. Some times in my life. Wait, no, no, no. That's not your tone, we, though. We all have faith. I talked to you about this. We all have sorrow. <laughs> lean on me. But wow. If we are wise. Yeah, that's where you then belong. Then every day. Look at your butt, man. But a a a bow, Here we go. Bow, Lean on me, me bow, when you're, you're alone. And I'll be, and I'll I'll be your alone. friend. Ooh, 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 I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> carry on, on me. Yeah. My right. voice is gone. You guys, I am show. so stoned. I, uh, can I tell you something? I yes. saw it kicking in because every time I know you're really high, you look like a tortoise. <laughs> Look at his eyes. Yeah. You're a tortoise. What up? And I Turtle. have so many red marks. From Entourage. Jerry Ferrara, I love you. Shout out. We'll put it right there. Just, oh, the little one. Yeah, Turtle. Oh, Brent. Entourage, they're bringing it back. <laughs> Are they? I heard a rumor from a rumor from a guy, from a guy who told a guy who told a girl who got a pizza place. So that was actually, I get what you're doing. The two guys that yeah. got a pizza place. I think Ryan Reynolds acknowledged the elbow yeah, on the was. thing, and I'm okay with it. And God, good, good for me. You, you know, can I tell you real quick? Hey, it actually it. wasn't a bad show. I don't love it, but I want was to be it, okay. No, it was fine. It was I a loved good it. Can I tell you one, one thing real quick? Yeah. Love this group, love this pod, love this hang always. Uh, and then just in the spirit of celebrating the pod, I think, a great guest down the line that I would love to see, you know, uh, with you would be Ryan Reynolds. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I'd love to have Ryan Reynolds. I think Reynolds. that guy is underrated as far as his ability to play. And I want to have like him he, on the couch talk to talk about Blake Lively. You What? What? You know he's married to Blake Lively. Yeah, yeah. of course. The girl she's from the gorgeous. town. She's yeah. the greatest. Town. That'd be Great somebody movie. that the town is the one you pick it's with the, her. It's my favorite movie I've ever Let's seen. Let's cut ever. to the no, whole the movie. town. Hey, everybody. Rick Glassman and Friends is performing this week at the Brea Improv in Southern Sunny, California. 420, Wednesday. Smoke them up. Okay, show starts at 8 p.m. Lineup includes Brent Morin, Adam Ray, Eric Griffin, and Andrew Santino, and Ooh. or unless anybody cancels, maybe none of them. Maybe none of you guys. Hopefully. Then I'll get somebody local. I'll be yeah. there. Okay, great. Said the guy who be, might be replacing me. <laughs> oh, he sounds just like you. A little odd. A little more bad. Optimism, too. Hit and that. and you know where you get the best optimism? Your brain. And you know where your brain gets it from? Your mind. And you know where your mind gets it from? www. Come check us out. <laughs> 420 at the Bray Improv ticket li link. I'm going to oh, you keep it. Shit. Hey. Ticket but link. It's going to be ticket great. Ticket link. We don't it's know. in the description. If you love the pod, if you love seeing us Jim Jam and goof around, Jim Jam. And goof around, <laughs> goof around. come to the Bray Improv where you're going to get fun friends and just an family. experience where fun you, friends. Where you fun can't friends and get family. anything that you've seen the here there. You got to come see it live. Here's fun. We make it pop so that it goes through the camera into your fucking souls. But live is better, always. So anything, do you want to smell a blizzard through a TV or go no. get it at Dairy Queen? Yeah, we'll be right back. Exactly. And get the chunks. All right, we're going to rob this bank tonight. You in, Ben Affleck? Wait a second. I got to go meet a girl at a bar. Who's the girl? Girl. Is that her right there? Nah. Looks like your girlfriend to me if I ever saw someone like that. Hey. Yeah, I, what is that? She's, she's playing with a gun that looks like a lollipop. Yeah. Now that's her finger. Oh, she threw her lollipop out. Now she's chewing gum. Oh, she, she loves bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love bubbles. And well, I'm this just, is my friend Ben Affleck. Yeah. Hey. Well, I'm actually John Hamm because I'm the water dog. Oh, go. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ever been to this town? Hey. They said the name of the movie. No, wait a second. I'm going to cross it with Yellowstone oh, okay. because of the hat because yeah. it's my favorite show right now. <laughs> hey. What's up, Bubbles? Do yeah, you know and, and, and what? What? <laughs> What'd you do with my cattle? Bitch, I didn't do nothing with your cattle. Uh, can I get you another? Uh, I think you've had enough. I Ooh. asked if you could Bye. Have... Bye, cowboy. Thanks. Mm. Not interested. Lurlane. You know. You best be coming around. This <laughs> 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 that you actually know, was a great impression yeah. of her in that movie. <laughs> you know they you know they <laughs> are. Really yeah, really thank good. you. You know they're actually pitching doing a spin-off for her character at a drama. It's a it's a series. What's it called? The bar. The ba, the ba, the ba. Mm -hmm. From the is it a sitcom? Is it a sitcom? <laughs> no, it's serious. 
It's serious? Radios. Who else is First in it ever. with her? It's her. It's the girl from uh, the dr Dragon Tattoo. The one she only had a couple lines oh, at the beginning. Tamara. Rooney Mara. No, she only had a couple lines at the Rome beginning. Mara. This is her first big role. And Rome and Tia Mara. and Tamara. Mitt Romney. Tia and Tamara. Yeah. Tia and yeah. Tamara. Yeah. Sounds like one of those Lifetime original movies. Tia Tamara. So Mitt Romney and Vladi Divac in <laughs> One Small Foot. So it's called. <laughs> I think you're. Really, I think really you're good. great. You're, it's just you know. I'm a neat. You know. Now. Were we using it? <laughs> hey, different movie. Um, so the ba, let's. Uh, so what's the scene? So wait a minute, <laughs> one second. So uh, so the people that let me. So the people that walk in. So the, it's called the ba, and it's coming out. So who do we play? You're her. Who do we play coming into this scene? Because obviously you have inside info with your success now. So uh, so you've seen the first pages. Yeah, well, the pilot <laughs> the pilot uh, the pilot takes place mm -hmm. uh, ten years after the fact. Yeah. After she's had a baby. And, the, and after the and, they and she's all got she's had she and she got a whole b bag of the money. Yeah. But she can't she 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 can't spend it. She so she's Care trying to, doesn't want to. Is afraid. She's afraid. She's afraid. She's she'll afraid. Get caught. That, yeah, she's with him because it's, it's died or some shit. Whatever they. So say. she has to live her life as normal as possible. She doesn't have to work as hard. She has some help at home, but she has to put up this front, and that's fine. She works thirty hours a week at the bar. It's fine. They have money. Everything's good. <laughs> but then somebody who we meet in the original town movie, and I didn't even remember it until I rewatched it. It's another guy who robs them. Who get they just left the story. I don't know if they cut it out. Yeah, he was just the left only them. one. Of, Made. So he's around, and they, they weren't supposed to give her any of the money, and that's his money, especially because everything else happened to have been seized. Now he literally has no money. So now he comes in, mm -hmm. and he starts. they start dating. Okay. So she has gotcha. no idea that this guy wants to rob and kill her. Okay, so that's his motivation. But, but he's he actually an, a compelling... He, he, yeah, yeah it really it's is. a great script. It's a great He show. needs to like, yeah. know where the movie, uh, where, the, where the money is. Yeah. Um, uh, police chief who like call me, you know, here's my card. Call me if anything comes up. She never would. The John Ham guy. Now she's 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 um she's talking to she's talking to this guy because they just they're still like trying to figure out stuff that's happening in the town. Like they're still like bothering and investigating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And there's a time that uh, when he comes in, the guy thinks that she's informing that she is. She didn't say anything about anything, but he, she, he keeps harassing, and they just keep coming, and now that he's with her, and who's that? And she doesn't want to tell this new boyfriend that, that my ex-lover was a bank robber, so now they're lying to each other. Yeah. So he thinks that she knows... So every and there's and it's I don't know I mean they're obviously you can extend it out I had only read the pilot but it ends with it ends with him standing over finding her gun standing over the bed with the gun and then putting it down and then going to bed like putting it down on her side wow. and then the gun and you see it ends with just her and the gun and we don't even see him and that's the pilot yeah so what do you think it is when they wake up in the morning so now she's oh I I don't know if I'd want to speculate and you're but you're the so can I. <laughs> Carnation. Well, I'm saying you could do something from the pilot. Well, no, what I'm saying is it's like, okay, now this is what I think where it should go after the pilot. Okay. Is, uh, you know, the gun and she's got all these thoughts. Everything's happening, you know. And I'm the guy. You're her. Wake up. Oh, fuck. Do you want to fuck me? Yeah. <laughs> In other news, the Detroit Tigers won their home opener versus the Florida Marlins. The score was five to two. The weather was forty-five degrees. Hey, I'm sorry. Did you just fuck me, or did you drop your phone? Because I'm wet and I am filled with blood, but I haven't come yet. Now, Stop there, chewing do, gum. Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Costner and Miss Lively? What this up? is a scene from their new movie that's coming that's out. That's Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> oh, sorry. He would be a great guest. Who? Him. Mrs. Reynolds? Ryan Reynolds. I, that's why I just told you, man. You said Blake Lively. I cut, said, cut to a clip. You know who would be a great guest on the podcast? Blake Lively. And only Blake Lively. <laughs> I said Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> I said Ryan Reynolds. Do two more takes. <laughs> I said Ryan Reynolds. One more, completely different. Oh, when you take it out, it's different. <laughs> That's what she said. Only Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Potatoes. Okay. 
That's uh, Sling Blade. Really want to see it. <laughs> Guess what movie I'm going to rewatch tonight? A River Wild with Kevin Bacon, John C. Riley, David Sutherland, and, <laughs> and Meryl Streep, and Joe Mazzello. And the Joe Mazzello, isn't that? Joe Mazzello, Jurassic Joe. River One Wild? Are you thinking about... No, a River Wild. A River Wild. I was going to say... <laughs> I used to the say one it sometimes they, fast. The river shows up. No, you're it's talking up. about you're talking about the one where they they, they end up kidnapping uh, yes, Meryl Bacon Streep and, Riley and then can, he's yeah. the son and on the And Meryl Streep can only... Uh, yeah, a river, river Run r- Through It is... Uh, row the River yeah. Through It is... Wait. And a River Kevin, Runs Wild is... Um, is Meryl Streep, Kevin well, Bacon, John C. Riley. It, yeah, yeah. It's uh, They kidnap him. It's... uh, it's uh. No, no, this is good content. Um... That is a great movie. They're like, you fucking get us down the river. Meryl Streep's like, that used to scare the shit out of me. I'm on vacation with David Strait Heron. And they and John Stewart goes, I don't give a fuck. And yeah. then Kevin Bacon goes, look, I'm in Fulhouse. We're on a fucking river. We got to get to the movie. end of it. Get us over. Only you can do it, lady. Look at me. And Meryl Streep goes, get your fucking finger out of my fucking mouth, Bacon. Have you ever seen that movie? It's really good. No spoilers. Uh, I, well, there's no spoilers, but I will. There's say always this. spoilers. My parents Love did a, movie. Uh, did uh, something very weird. So we were like, when we were kids, bought we the were rights going, to the movie. Well, they made it, <laughs> and they're teachers, so that was weird. <laughs> and they, I said, "Where'd you guys go?" They go, "I don't know." We fucking, we, you know, we were at High Lie, and then all of a sudden, we just came up with an idea. Um, anyway, uh, Ice Bong or whatever the fuck. Uh, no, pops. my parents like put that movie on. Right before we took a family trip to uh, Colorado, cool, because my brother was figure skating there, and uh, so fucking dope that he did that. And so we went horseback riding, and uh, the other thing we did is we went uh, white water rafting. Yep, down the Colorado River. And terrifying and, uh, or uh, exhilarating? Can you stop? Um, the thing is, is because this is the most important moment of my life since my family tragically is still alive. Um, ha ha, Kathy Griffin. Um, I am so high, and I don't care about anything I'm saying. This is either do we. Yeah. Anyway, I saw the movie. Either do we, Brent? Before I went, and I was scared of Rodney. We left a while ago, bud. That's at Brent Moore on Twitter and at the River Wild on Rotten Tomatoes. Sucks. That was great, though. No, it wasn't great. Being kind and being honest. No, I like to listen. I liked to listen. I liked to listen. Really? You You want to listen? How about this? Did you hear? So when I was in TSA. Oh, boo. 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 Now you're a lion. Boo. Now you're a lion. <laughs> now you're a lion who's got to pay his taxes. Kids, <laughs> <laughs> now you're an elephant with a shit problem. <laughs> oh, 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 no. The only now you're, line a mime. That can speak. you're a mime in South Dakota, and it's cold. It's winter time. The snow has fallen. It's getting chilly and nippy and chilly nippy, and no one can see that it's raining now. It's raining snowballs and ice balls, and but it's kind of hot. It's kind of makes you. It kind of makes you a third place. <laughs> oh. oh, but then you notice. Oh, it's springtime again, and the honey badger's back. But you don't want to get too close because he's got penicillin. All right, Adam, <laughs> thank you so much. You guys stick around for the Patreon where we're going to go a little bit more. But that's the end of Take Your Shoes Off with Adam Ray, Brent Morin, I'm Rick Glassman. Make sure you do two things. You treat everybody well and you vote because it matters. Have a good night. Theme vote? music. Scoot do Blabbity blue Scoot. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah.